We're going to turn now to the extraordinary lengths public health officials are going to just to entice COVID vaccine holdouts to get their shots. They're offering everything from beer to concert tickets. Here's CBS's Adriana Diaz. <laughs> there you go. This beer is compliments of the vaccine. The perk comes with getting a shot this month in New Jersey, one of many incentives nationwide. Come in with the card. Here's your encouragement. Vaccinations can get you a $100 savings bond in West Virginia, $50 if you convince someone to get vaccinated in Detroit, and free salon and barbershop services coming soon in Chicago. We want to bring the party and the vaccine together and really make this an opportunity for people to say, this is easy for me to get this vaccine. Let me take that opportunity right now. Saturday shots at this Chicago church come with a free ticket to a concert that's for vaccinated people only. What's the role that incentives play? They push people to make a decision. Pastor Horace Smith, who's also a physician, says the concert giveaway purposely targets young Chicagoans. I had to laugh because there, there's a couple of very popular artists who are going to be featured in Hyde Park who I don't even know. That's my age. <laughs> I had to ask my daughter, who is that they're going to have? One, two, three. Cheryl Combe from Chicago overcame her hesitancy for her family. Three generations got vaccinated together. I'm enjoying getting back to life, living, loving, sharing. And mass vaccination sites nationwide are starting to wind down, like this one outside Chicago's United Center. And that's because the focus is now shifting to people who aren't going out of their way to get vaccinated by providing all these incentives and by now vaccinating people where they are in their communities. Nora. All right, Adriana Diaz, thank you.